Hello, Greg here for Joyrider TV. And this is Show Us Your Cat, coming from Crystal Lake in Northern Michigan, USA. And this is my 1984 Hobie 16, decked in Tequila Sunrise. But enough about me, you're here to see Show Us Your Cat. So without further delay, here's Joe of Joyrider TV. And show us your cat on Joyrider TV. Scrolling back, 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 scrolling back. Oh, I must have been dreaming. No, it's really time for Show Us Your Cat. Yes, hello, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with episode 107 of Show Us Your Cat. Now, thank you very much to Greg for that extremely strong introduction. Very nice. If you'd like to send me a strong introduction, then just the usual channels to get video to me but you can certainly add a lot of flavour to one of the next episodes of Show Us Your Cat. It does feel like quite a long time since the last episode, and since then there has been a lot going on on the Wild Wind Beach here. There's been a lot of videos coming out. Um, the most recent was I have had my first real go at a fairly major repair to a catamaran which did go fairly well so if you want to see what went on there just check it out it's in uh it'll be somewhere anyway for you to check out also it has been the season of throwing myself off the back of a hobie 16 all in the name of research and sailing science what happens when you fall off the boat i've had a very deep dive literally into this but of course, there's also been the regular smorgasbord of fast sailing videos. Uh, not only on the 16, we've been out on the Tornado as well, giving it some serious juice in Vasiliki Bay. Very exciting times. But we have had nothing short of champagne sailing conditions pretty much every day since I saw you last. The Q&A has been very much revived. I've worked out a new way to use the technology so that we're getting the full sessions uh, for the last few weeks now. Uh, so do tune in on Friday or just shoot me some questions ahead of time if you can't make it for the live session. Coming up in the pipeline, we have got, of course, a ton of more kind of joyride videos where we're going out just doing some fast sailing not so much live commentary on the boat a long-standing project that i've been working on is how to sail in every wind strength so i've already been out in almost no wind at all then we notched it up to five knots then we went up to eight knots 12 knots and we did 16 knots of wind so I'm just going to be going out in the slightly stronger winds to finish that one but then how to sail upwind reaching and downwind with tacking and jibing in all those different wind strengths I think it could be quite a valuable video but right now it is time for show us your cat if you would like to be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, yes, the Joyrider TV global community would like to see your boat. So just send me pictures or video of your boat and you will be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. But for now, let's dive in and take a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Okay, so we're starting off this week in Switzerland. We are going to Lake Lehman, where we're actually visiting a club. So this feature is Show Us Your Club. The club is called Voile Lieber Morgs. 
VLM. They're a small club and everybody from the president to the sailing instructors, they're all volunteers. And the club is really powered by the passion of sailing. Looks like a really good club with some great facilities for sailing bigger boats as well. There's a very nice looking marina right next to the club. The fleet in the club, it's mostly catamarans, goes from the Hobie 16s, Nacra 16, 17, a Ventilo 20, and then Jerome himself has got an A-cat. Here she is, called Sambuca. What a great classic A. There's clearly a great fleet of Hobie 16s from the pictures, it looks like most are fitted with spinnakers for that extra power on the downwind legs. In the lineup here, along with the Hobie 16s, and we can just see the Nacra F16 there, we can see a pair of Topaz 14s. These are really great training boats, also fitted with spinnakers, so it really is a great option for learning to fly that kite but very nice boats, very forgiving, roto molded hulls, so extremely durable, a good choice. Now here we can see the Ventilo 20. It was a design from back in the 90s, originally to race in the original Formula 20 class, which was a class for 20 foot catamarans with just the mainsail and a spinnaker. Now this bad boy is certainly an absolute beast. The Nacra F16 must be the most modern racer at the club. Extremely quick, lightweight and manoeuvrable. Good choice. Now, although when you think of Swiss lakes, you might imagine but it's mostly light winds. It certainly looks here like the guys are getting some great winds to get out there and give it some juice. Now, come on guys, let's get some entries for the speed stick on the next big day. So this certainly does look like a great spot to enjoy some great sailing, training, or just hanging out and talking about it. If you're in the area, I'd strongly recommend popping in maybe even considering becoming a member. Next, we're going to the USA. We're gonna be hitting Long Beach, California, where we have David. David would like to tell us the story of his two NACRAs. This is what David says. I purchased my first 1976 NACRA 5.2 for just $500 back in 1993 from a church in Oxnard, California, near Channel Islands Harbor that someone had donated. It had some cracks in the hulls and all the battens were broken in the mainsail. I went to a local sail loft where they hooked me up with a new set of battens for just $100 as they could see how bad I wanted to go sailing. After some Frankenstein style glass repairs, I was off. After a few years of sailing, I decided to completely disassemble the 5.2 and restore her back to factory fresh and more. After learning about how Tom Rowland started the NACRA legacy back in 1975 with the NACRA 36 and the 5.2, I was excited that I owned one of the first years of production. So David started the process by popping off the forward decks and he did a proper fiberglass repairs wherever they were needed on the boat. It was then time for fairing the hulls, putting on new gel coat. We can see the extent that the work went to here. He also took all of the aluminium to get powder coated in a nice cobalt blue color, upgraded all the rigging, blocks, lines, 
a new trampoline and a new jib. Even the trailer got blasted and painted and fitted with some new lights. What a great job restoring this 5.2. Clearly a lot of hours went into this boat to bring it back to this perfect finish. Now who could resist one of these? Here's the original NACRA 5.5 advertising. Enter David's second NACRA. It's called Volare, which means to fly in Italian. Five years later, David needed another cat. His search ended in Arizona where he found this second cat, which is a 1990 NACRA 5.5 SL. After a quick call and a six hour drive from San Diego, he was the proud new owner of another NACRA. This one, just $1,500, which he bought back in 2005. She needed the bottom of the hole sorting out, but that was not a big deal compared to what David had done with the 5.2. The original mainsail, the Mylar was flaking, but David continued to sail her for five years down in San Diego Bay before he got the bug to bring her back up to factory condition and update the rig to Formula 18 standards. He made a custom new boom, new spinnaker pole and a new self-tacking jib track. He had Chip from Whirlwind Sails make a new Technora mainsail, a blue spinnaker and he recut the original jib to fit the new self-tacking setup. These sails look absolutely fantastic. Chip at Whirlwind certainly does a great job there. David picked up a used SNU snuffer, added the new hardware, and then he was ready to rock. After the good results from the recut jib, David decided to get Chip at Whirlwind to make a matching Technora jib, which really does look the business. David usually sails off the southern coast of California and has sailed from Long Beach to Catalina just for the weekend and the tri-point race around Anacapa Island off Ventura. What a great thing to do with your 5.5. So what another great transformation. And then looking in this video, you can see the deck grip and the new sails really make the boat look like a modern F-18, ready to go out and smash it on the race course. Here's David out on the 5.5, really giving it some big beans in South Bay, San Diego. What a fantastic looking NACRA. She is certainly delivering the goods. When you consider that this boat is over 15 years old, I think you can all agree that David really has done a great job here with the help, of course, of Whirlwind Sales. David says, I love taking friends out that have never been on a cat before so that they can experience the feeling of blasting across the water powered only by the wind. If you want to see more of what David's been getting up to with the 5.5, I've put some links to some of David's videos on YouTube in the description below, so be sure to check those ones out. Thanks very much, David, for sharing your story. Hope you have some more great sailing to come this summer down in San Diego. So there we go. Very nice indeed. Thanks very much guys for sending me pictures and videos of your boats and of your club um, for this week's Show Us Your Cat. Like I said, if you'd like to be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, just send me some pictures or video with a description of what you like to do, perhaps when you got the boat, any work you've done on it, any upgrades that you've made, all the information you need is in the description below. Looks like it's gonna be windy again today, so until next time, I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.